Here is why people are concerned about that. The Valtran system would include 103 miles of elevated trains almost identical to these in Vancouver, British Columbia. Wherever they are installed, they will change forever the neighborhoods where they pass. These are big, solid structures that overshadow homes along their routes. And although they are not especially loud, there is what seems to be almost unending noise. A train passes by in one direction or another every two and a half minutes, and sometimes more frequently than that. In places where the tracks go through undeveloped areas, they improve appearances. They are sleek and technologically the most sophisticated form of rapid transit that there is. If Valtrans goes through as now conceived, with so many miles of this type of train, Phoenix would become a world showcase for urban mass transit. And what are some of these unique features? Would it bother you knowing that there's no operator up there running this train? Or that there is no sort of transit police on board? Well, the Vancouver system does not use either one of these. Technology runs everything. A computer program, for example, controls the trains. In the control center, a handful of people supervise the movement of all the cars online watching their progress on computer screens. Only when a special situation might arise would a person actually take control of the system. Their computers show when the cars are moving or stopped, even when the doors are open and when they close. Television cameras monitor the stations along the route as one part of the security system, sending those pictures back to the control center. Every foot of every platform can be seen all the time with the system. There are no security guards on duty, but customer service representatives are on the platforms and on the trains to give directions and call for emergency help if it is ever needed. Critics complain that such a system is not appropriate for Phoenix because our valley does not have the concentration of commuters found in Vancouver. Those who support Valtrans claim that development builds up around the transit system, creating concentrations of commuters. And we will take a closer look at that tomorrow.